нашей работе готовы физически принять? Distinguished colleagues, we are about to start the meeting. Do you hear us, Professor Rahim Zoda? Yes, I do. Good afternoon, colleagues. I would like to declare the meeting of the uh, Dissertation Council open to review the dissertation submitted by Yevgeny Pivtsayev in the specialty field 12.0003. Civil Law, Entrepreneurial Law, Family Law, International Private Law, under the title Special Aspects of Insolvency, Bankruptcy of Property Developers, under the relevant decree as of April 2018, me, Professor of the Economic Law of St. Petersburg State University, what Skvortsov Oleg Yulievich was de declared to be the chair of the dissertation council, and now I would like to pre introduce my colleagues, Dmitry Petrov, docent of commercial law departments in Petersburg State University, PhD in jurisprudence, Alexander Melchanov, professor in Petersburg State University, PhD in Jurisprudence, Ministry of Interior of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Kamyshansky, Professor Doctor of Jurisprudence, the Kuban State Agricultural University by Trubilin, and Professor Rahim Zoda, PhD in Jurisprudence, Professor of the University of, the Re of Tajikistan Republic. According to federal law, as of 1999, on the research policy in St. Petersburg State University, this university has been granted an, expe an exceptional right to award academic degrees. And therefore, a relevant decree was issued in St. Petersburg State University, which is the legal basis for this meeting. According to this meeting, the Dissertation Council is legitimate unless uh, two-thirds of its initial composition are there. Today, all the five members of the Dissertation Council are here, including one member online remotely. So the quorum is there. So to optimize the procedure, I suggest the following time frame, no more than two hours. First comes the report by the Dissertation Council and the Chair of the Dissertation Council on the document submitted by the defendant to be followed by a short report by the defendant and questions to the defendant. And the defendant replies. Next, we declare the reviews submitted to the Dissertation Council, 10 minutes per each review maximum. Members of the Dissertation Council take turns and put forward their suggestions to the defendant. After the reviews, the defendant can provide his replies. To be followed by a Q&A session where all those present can participate five minutes per speaker. Provided that there is someone willing to participate in the open discussion, may I urge you to register in advance in a registration list. It is here on the first desk. Is anyone wishing to do so? Well, if someone does, please do register. Next comes the defendant's replies to the questions from the audience. 
to be followed by an open voting and the conclusion pronounced during this stage there is going to be no broadcasting next we count votes and register the results in the protocol this so as to decide whether pass or fail concluding remarks by the defendant two minutes maximum before we implement the procedure may I urge you to switch off your mobile devices I also inform you that this session is being broadcasted online on St. Petersburg State University website. Video recording is there, as well as simultaneous interpretation from Russian into English and vice versa. So I start implementing the agenda primarily the first point of it, which belongs to the documents submitted by the defendant. The defendant has submitted to the secretary of the dissertation board the following documents. Application addressed to rector as of November 14, 2017. The review by the supervisor, Professor Papandopoulos a list of publications including six papers that reflect the key findings of the dissertation. Three articles out of those six are published in fellow reviewed journals, a certificate issued by St. Petersburg State University certifying that the defendant has completed his studies from October 2012 to September 2015, has done a course as a postgraduate, passing the fall, his exams successfully, History of Philosophy B. So the conclusion on the dissertation approved by the Vice Rector of St. Petersburg State University in May 2018. The diploma of the Legislation Academy as of 2013, the dissertation in soft and hard copy in English and Russian. The dissertation is drafted according to contemporary requirements. All these documents correspond to point 12, section 3 on the de academic degree awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University. My report is over, and now may I proceed to the next point of the agenda, which is the defendant's report. Please, Mr. Pivtsaev, your 15 minutes. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear chairman, dear members of the station council, we have um, here, uh, I am presenting this station research on the <coughs> special aspects of insolvency bankruptcy of property developers. The relevance of the um, of the topic uh, and the research is, co is caused by the presence of di significant discrepancies regarding the provisions of paragraph 7 of chapter 9 of the bra bankruptcy law, both in theory and in practice, and of the application by arbitration courts. The lack of a consolidated approach to determine the procedure for making claims by the construction participants in the bankruptcy 
uh, is the difference the different qualifications qualifications of the course regarding the rights of construction participants wishing to enter into the bankruptcy or case of the developer entails the emergence of problems related to the legal qualification of these relations. However, there are problems in the most effective law whose legal technique each is imperfect, which leads to an excessive narrowing of Uh, the circumstance generates a violation of the rights of persons who have invested money in the construction of a residential building, as well as the, their inequality with each other in the presence of similar relations. Within the framework of the study, the materials of judicial practice, of course, uh, of all instances were analyzed including resolutions and rulings of the of the Supreme Arbitration Court of the Russian Federation on individual cases, decisions of the plenum, and the information letters of the Presidium of the Supreme Arbitration Court of the Russian Federation. At the same time, judicial practice is analyzed from the point of view of the tasks of the dissertation research in comparison with the doctrinal research. Within the framework of the dissertation work, an analysis was made of a set of effective regulatory illegal acts regulating relations to which the developer is a party. Through the analysis of regulatory illegal acts acting at different times, it was possible to build a historical projection of the evolution of the concept of the developer, which was used by the legislature in relation to the regulation of relations in the construction sector. In the process of research, specific signs uh, were revealed, of uh, which are, were assigned to the concept of developer within the framework of town planning legislation, legislation relating invest to investment and activity, and also in the field of insolvency. On the basis of this, an attempt was made to unify the definition of the concept developer, taking into account of legal features, characteristic of certain types of relations. <coughs> Answering the question stated in, in response uh, uh, to some uh, comments um, uh, uh, by members of the dissertation uh, council, about what was necessitated to investigate uh, the possibility of such unification, I would like to note the following. An attempt to unify the concept of the developer used in various legal illegalized directly or indirectly regulating relations in the field of construction was justified by the need for research and analysis of this problem because it is directly related to the topic of the dissertation research. This line of research seemed promising in the, in the light of the possibility of identifying legal incidents and uh, multi-directional law enforcement arising in connection with the regulation of related legal regimes of similar public relations related to construction and investment activities. In the press of research, specific features of the concept developer in the Bantukship case, distinguishing this legal concept from the concept of developer used in other literal regulatory legal acts, are distinguished. Thus, an analysis of the rules of the law on bankruptcy allows us to dis dis distinguish the following signs of the developer for the purpose of applying paragraph 7. The developer may be a legal entity or an individual entrepreneur. The person attracts funds or uh, and or property of the construction participants for the purpose of building a dwelling. Uh, there are qu requirements for this person on the part of the construction participants on the transfer of residential premises or monetary claims. Other definitions given by the de legislature do not contain any definitions. Within the framework of the research, the possibilities of giving the definition of developer under the law of bankruptcy of the science particular to concept within the framework of other legal regimes are considered. So, for example, we consider a construction in which a developer in a bankruptcy case, by analogy with town planning legislation, would have a sign of professionalism. That is, if one of the man mandatory requirements for recognizing a person as as a developer was that such a person should be a subject of professional construction activity.
Such a criterion uh, could potentially help to strengthen the guarantees of construction participants in obtaining residential premises and reduce the, the risks of uh, raising funds for construction participants of, a, of an incompetent developer. And uh, in addition, a detailed anal uh, theoretical analysis of the concept of losses outlined in paragraph 2 of, articles, of Article 201.5 of the Banks of Law was made, which led to the conclusion that the structure of the elements that are subject to proof when claiming uh, for damages is claimed, according to the aforementioned rule of the law of bankruptcy, is significantly different from the competition of circumstances implied by Article 15 of the Civil Code of the Russian F Federation. Dear members of the Distinguished Council, in connection with the emergence of a number of questions now set out in some reviews regarding th this particular part of my study, I would like to further clarify my position on this issue. I undoubtedly, one cannot but agree with the indication uh, that the provisions of art Article 15 of the Civil Code, code and Paragraph two of Article 201.5 uh, of the Bankers of Law should be considered in relation to the general and special norms, since it is the cause uh, two of Article uh, 201.5 of the Bankers of Law uh, is applied in the sphere of relations requiring special attention in the field of insolvency. In the framework of the research, I attempted to establish what was the reason for the introduction of the special rule and what is exceptional for situations when this particular norm is applicable and general provisions of Article 15 of the Civil Court of the Russian Federation cannot be applied. So considering the requirements of the participant in the construction to collect damages from the developer in the manner prescribed uh, by Paragraph 2 of Article uh, 201, uh, point five of the bankruptcy law through the prism of the provisions of articles 12 and 15 of the civil code of the Russian Federation, one cannot conclude that despite the similarity of the legislature's terminology in, in the definition of losses in the two above mentioned regulatory legal acts, the composition of the circ circumstances to be proved by the construction participant in the framework of the bankruptcy case of the developer uh, when making a statement of the state recommend has significant differences. In itself, compensation for damages is a way to protect civil rights under Article 12 of the Civil Code and one of the forms compensation of civil liability declaring claims for recovery of damages in court as a general rule the plaintiff must prove a number of circumstances the presence of which of which is necessary to satisfy such a requirement such uh, cir uh, circumstances include the existence of size of losses the unlawfulness of the action of the person who caused the losses, causal relationship between unlawful behavior and the occurrence of losses. From the point of view of Article 15, uh, failure to fulfill one's obligations implies the presence of guilt on this part. W uh, we cannot but agree, but agree with the indica indication of, res of uh, respected members of the Distinction Council to, uh, that civil law demonstrate cases when the fault is not taken into account when recovering damages. And in the case under consideration, the debtor's uh, default uh, by the developer uh, does not always imply the presence of guilt on his part. Thus, I undertake to assert that it is necessary to search for another point of a violation for the developer's obligation to which one can stretch the thread of the causal relations with the loss. Also, uh, it should be noted that this statement confirms fi the findings of the thesis that the design of the elements of the composition of the civil offense that generates the right to claim damages under paragraph 2 of Article 201 point of the Bankruptcy Law is significant differently from the elements of damages specified in Article 15 of the Civil Court. Well, in view of the foregoing uh, is the study in the formulated conclusion, I was Based on, uh, I was referring to the fact that when a construction uh, participant claims to recover from the developer, it is subject to proof of a special composition of circumstances. 
this I um, I also uh, talk in my uh, dissertation that um, according together with an uh, according to paragraph uh, seven of chapter L uh, nine of the Banksy law uh, it would be necessary to install a residential building of a blocked building in respect to which the construction participant has a demand to transfer the premises or, ha or had this requirement prior to termination of the contract. This proposal was based on analysis including the construction services market, significant share of which including the construction of houses or blocked buildings. It should be noted that during the period from the end of this work uh, on the basis of up uh, and up to the present pr protection, the legislature made changes in clause 5.1 uh, of Article uh, 20101 of the Pankasy Law and the res residential building of the blocked building as installed uh, as an object of construction. In, in the course of the study, the arbitration court interpreted the provisions of paragraph 1 of Article 2.1, uh, 2.1.5 of the Bankstool of the possibility of a construction participant applying to the arbitration court with respect to include uh, his monetary claim in the register of bankruptcy creditors under the non-extradited contract for the transfer of the dwelling. The, the study outlines the criticism of paragraph 4 of Article uh, 201, 15, uh, uh, hyphen 2 uh, of the Branksy Law, which, according to the dis dissertator, uh, the author, completely level out the right of the, bank of the assembly of construction participants to participate and determine the fate of the bankruptcy estate. At the same time, it is characteristic that they are deprived of this right due to actions of a person who is not directly a party to the relationship uh, with the developer prior, prior to the declaring the latter in insolvent. I, t I would like to note the following, that in my research work, I have attempted to identify problematic issues in the field of, the regu of legal regulations of claims by construction participants. Discrepancies have been found in, the ju in judicial practice in resolving the issues of including these requirements in the relevant registries, and therefore recommendations have been developed to improve the current legislation, which could help facilitate the access of construction participants to the bankruptcy of the developer, creating an additional means for protecting their violated rights. The report is over. Thank you very much, dear chairman. Thank you very much to you for your attention. Do you have any questions for the defendant? If you have any questions, I have a question for you. Evgeny. Well, you know that um, the model of regulation has changed, uh, that um, share-based uh, um, uh, based, um, financing has been removed. Uh, so I this the change of concept uh, um, impacting on what you're talking about and the insolvency uh, situation? Well, the, the, this uh, reform is geared at uh, solving problems with uh, of uh, participants in the construction uh, for for the um, investors to re recover their funds. But in reality, what we see today, and it was not part of this research because uh, uh, these innovations uh, came later after I finished my work, but um, but you see uh, problems that uh, need doctrinal treatment, and this process of uh, of um, declaring uh, the developer bankrupt uh, uh, also needs clarification. Well, you see that um, new uh, regulations uh, are introduced uh, in the civil court and other uh, uh, norms, please. I would like also in development to Andrei Parish Kamashansky. I would like to clarify: Will um, 
uh, will the subject of risk uh, not change uh, when the share based sharing based uh, financing um, ch is replaced by ba by f f bank funding and this bank uh, becomes a bankrupt um, but and so the money is lost uh, how do you deal with that uh, is the investor who is investing in the construction of their dwelling uh, uh, r at a loss here well we have different legal f legal uh, norms that relate to uh, the functioning of these banks uh, involving the state and of course the state will participate and of course they will provide uh, additional guarantees and so the risk will be shifted of course uh, the risk will be will rest with the uh, investor because uh, they risk their own uh, uh, money and um, the, all these procedures of bankruptcy uh, should guarantee that uh, they recover uh, their uh, money from the um, failed uh, developer. So the risk uh, may be smaller, but whether but whether the shift uh, of liability uh, occurs, I don't think so. Well, well, if the the developer is bankrupt, uh, the uh, developer is uh, becomes bankrupt. At least um, half-built building is uh, remains that can be transferred to the new develop to new developer. But if a bankrupt goes if a bank goes bankrupt, then nothing uh, can be transferred to a new. Well, uh, there are, there is a problem that uh, of the transfer of half-built property. Um, yes, uh, this is a part of my dissertation. Yeah, this uh, uh, the risk remains there. Have any questions? We continue our procedure. We don't have any external reviews for the dissertation, so therefore I uh, would like to listen to the dissertation council members with their reviews, and I would like to give the floor to Dmitry Petrov. Are you ready? Thank you so much for the opportunity to have the floor. I am very well informed with the dissertation submitted by Mr. Pivtsaev. And this is my conclusions that is in my review. Well, of course, the dissertation is highly relevant. Over the last time, I should say that the relevance including the social relevance of this dissertation has been augmented because the amount of disputes, and you may take your seat, so the amount of disputes on property developers' insolvency is indeed is indeed excessive, is indeed in surplus. So therefore, I believe that getting deep into these issues is pivotal for us, including the financial dimension. Over the five, three to four, five years, this is going to be a drag on legislation and jurisprudence for the next 10 years to follow, because bankruptcy cases are always very conservative and difficult to transform. The recommendations that are put forward by the defendant are very well justified, which is proved by the conclusions of the text of the dissertation and the bibliography as well as law enforcement practices. The innovative statements of the dissertation are well justified by the comprehensive analysis of issues 
legislation, decrees, rules and regulations. And these results have been very well tested in practice. Overall, I should note that the language is very clear and accurate. The con some conclusions are indeed exciting and are a promise. Therefore, I would like to suggest to address the next two questions to the defendant. The first question is as follows. In the first conclusion of your dissertation, you identify what losses are according to a relevant provision of the bankruptcy law, and you oppose this definition to the one given in this civil code because the civil code urges the property developer to prove his guilt. So reimbursement of losses caused by violation of uh, property developer's liabilities under the uh, equity transfer agreement. The civil code stipulates that guilt, provided it is not considered when claiming losses, then such losses are deemed extraordinary. In this part, I think that your logic is a bit inaccurate. It is failing. In a first, in a second provision to be defendant, you claim that the legal status of a property developer in jurisprudence is different from the one used in other regulator, regulation. Therefore, we have to establish an integral concept of a property developer. However, it is yet unclear why is there are we compelled to make these, uh, this terminology integral. On page 24, you put forward the following assumption. So please make it clear. Overall, in my assessment, I believe that the dissertation is an independent and a well-concluded piece of research which is in compliance with the basic re requirements according to a relevant decree on academic degrees awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University, whereas the defendant, Igor Pivtsayev, deserves to be awarded the inspired academic degree in specialty field 120003. Thank you so much. So may I remind the defendant that he's going to reply to all of the reports after all of those are pronounced. I now would like to give the floor to Alexander Molchalin. Distinguished Chair, distinguished members of the dissertation board. So I have studied meticulously the dissertation submitted by Igor Pivtsayev. I would like to highlight how relevant this dissertation is because it looks into most relevant issues of legislation in property developers' law and property transfer. The defendant has successfully delivered on a number of objectives that the language is absolutely accurate. The methods ensured the success of the dissertation as well as its high practical and theoretical relevance and innovation. The structure of the dissertation is tailored to the objectives and the goals are very clear. The language of the paper is very well, is very clear. The structure 
is accurate, providing a comprehensive understanding of the scope of research. The first chapter benefits from the fact that the construction participant as a concept is integral to the re to the responsibilities of the property developer in case of bankruptcy. As for the second chapter, the most remarkable is the bankruptcy procedure in case of housing transfer and residential buildings, unfinished residential buildings transfer, as well as by way of property transfer and property developer liabilities transfer to a different property developer once bankruptcy has been launched. The conclusion of the dissertation are summarized. Those have been justified in practice as well as in published papers that reflect the key findings of the dissertation. However, as any deep and thorough research, this dissertation fuels a number of questions, and I cannot but mention those. First, could you please clarify the third provision to be defended, namely what are the specific traits of a property developer and how is this concept different from the property developers as a concept used in other rules and regulations. The defendant has to be more, more bold in highlighting the practical value of the dissertation. In the second conclusion, you suggest to have in the relevant decree of the Russian Federation the justification of a conclusion on the impossibility of transfer of residential housing to, the, to a different potential proprietor as impossible. So, what do you refer to? What do you rely on? I suggest that you justify your position against the setback of the objectives and goals of your dissertation. Third, I believe that there is an overfocus on the legal status of the construction participants in bankruptcy settings. Page 3371 as well as the damages and losses incurred by bankruptcy proceedings, as well as by the transfer of residential housing, page 96 and 95, as well as resolution of these claims by way of the transfer of an unfinished residential building. Could you please clarify your position? These statements and recommendations do not invalidate your dissertation, and my view is positive because your dissertation develops an insight into a number of theoretical issues that are supported by litigation, litigatory practice. This makes this research fundamental to law enforcement. Everything above said allows to conclude that the dissertation submitted by Yevgeny Pivtsayev and devoted to the property developer's bankruptcy is a consistent academic paper which is in conformity with the key requirements according to the decree on academic decree awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University, whereas Evgeny Pivtsayev deserves to be awarded the aspired academic decree of the candidate in jurisprudence, specialty field 120003. Thank you.
colleagues, the monitor, uh, the monitor is um, not working, but p will that impede our operation? So that's okay. Is everything fine? That we do not have the any image on the monitor. Okay, but then we move on. If, if everything is fine, and now I would like to give the floor to Professor Kamishansky to declare his uh, report. Distinguished Chair, distinguished members of the dissertation board. Distinguished chairman, distinguished members of the dissertation board, distinguished defendant and those present, it was my pleasure to read the dissertation by Igor Pivtsaev, which looks into a most relevant issue of shared construction. St. Petersburg is being a city which is very well under development now, as well as Krasnodarsk and other cities of Russia. So the issues related to property developers and the losses incurred by them. The, these issues are highly relevant and very difficult to solve, regrettably, many instruments, legal instruments, do not ensure a consistent protection to construction participants, which compels authorities to interfere. For example, the governor of the Krasnodarsk constituent issues a decision urging the property developers to finalize the construction, thus solving the most acute social challenge. I believe this makes, this is the merit behind this dissertation. I know that Mr. Pivtsaev has been into this research for seven years and not two or three years, and this means that he had an opportunity to observe the dynamics of amending the civil code that allowed us to achieve a specific level to deliver on this problem. Obviously, the consistency of this paper is proved by the practical experience of the defendant who has published many uh, papers as well as has been employed as an arbitration court judge. So many uh, statements that are put forward in this dissertation have been tested in practice by the defendant himself. Therefore, this, mean, this makes this dissertation both relevant practically and theoretically. And this is a huge advantage behind this dissertation. And it, I, I believe that members, uh, citizens of St. Petersburg, as well as other cities, will be able to make advantage of this dissertation. And this is an opportunity for those who are together with us, both here in this room, as well as online, to be present at this remarkable event and to share these remarkable practices that are put forward in the dissertation. I believe that Tajikistan that is here with us, although this country has no similar challenges in terms of shared construction, and there are many mechanisms to ensure that there is no embezzlement, will also nevertheless benefit from this defense. The dissertation is very well structured. There are, the objectives are clear, and each paragraph contributes to the overall value of the result and the innovative aspect. 
which is in conformity with the current requirements. In my review, I have de analyzed in depth the merits of the dissertation. Most remarkable is the suggestion to amend the Article 24.15.2 of the code that suggests that the participants to the construction can choose which liabilities to grant to what property developer, as well as the construction cooperative. Another valuable result is the suggestion, or rather a doctrine, on the monetary liabilities of construction participants. The dissertation identifies the responsibilities and liabilities of construction participants, as well as the creditors' assemblies, so as to study a specific law enforcement practice, which is approved by the ample experience by, of the defendant. Overall, my assessment is positive. However, I should note a number of disputable issues where argumentation is a bit unclear or failing. So these are the issues to be clarified, but they do not invalidate the overall high impression of the dissertation. In the second provision, the defendant claims that the uh, the, the liability to repay the main debt is an independent instrument, protection instrument, which is not vested in the civil code of the Russian Federation that provides for all of the legal instruments of protection. And therefore, my question, what is there behind the fact that this instrument is independent. For example, in Article 12 of the Civil Code, restitution of the status before the violation is suggested. So the property developer did not transfer the flat and the property developer is claimed bankrupt which means that the property developer has to reimburse on the losses according to the uh, investor agreement. So why do you need to claim that this point is an independent one? In the paragraph 2, you claim that the legal status of a uh, participant in construction uh, but so I mean that here you should have written participants and not participant so there should be plural and not singular in provision 6 of your conclusions you suggest to grant a procedural opportunity to the construction participant to file an application on including their claim in the creditor's register, whereas the yet valid agreement has to stipulate uh, issues in case of refusal during the litigation. And I would like to clarify whether this provision is in conformity with the your specialty 120003. So everything that belongs to litigation, civil litigation, belongs to specialty field 120005 and not 0003. My another recommendation is to clarify your conclusion that it is impossible to unify the definition of a property developer across various rules and legislation. 
So whereas an integral civil code would suggest that all the terminology is integral and clear, the lessee is also a challenged concept. And therefore, the fact that you suggest that the property developer can be interpreted in various ways is not the proper language. So I would like to find out what do you mean behind that. Despite all the above said recommendations that are, that are disputable, I believe that the dissertation submitted by Mr. Piftayev and devoted to the insolvency or bankruptcy of property developers is in conformity with the decree number 682-1 on the academic degree awarding procedure in St. Petersburg State University, whereas defendant Piftayev deserves to be awarded the inspired academic degree in specialty field 120003 civil law, international private law, entrepreneurial law. Thank you for your attention. Dear, dear ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to turn to our member of the uh, decision council, Professor Rakim Samish, uh, uh, Zabirovich. Ahmad Zabirovich, uh, can you hear us well? Well, he's uh, in remote mode. Unfortunately, we cannot hear you. I have a suggestion, maybe we should test uh, our communication. Would you like to say a few words just for us to, to see if uh, the connection is working? Co colleagues from the technical s support service, uh, could, you, could you help us? Well, uh, s sign language interpret. Yes, I can hear you. Well, now you, we can hear you now. Can you hear me well? Mahmoud Zabirovich, uh, it's your turn to uh, read out your review. Thank you very much. Dear uh, Chairman, uh, dear members, members of the station council, uh, uh, with your permission, I would like to uh, voice our my, my uh, review the dissertation of Pivtsaev Yevgeniev Yevgenievich uh, is written on a relevant topic uh, on the uh, special features of uh, developers bankruptcy. And this is relevant not only for the Russian Federation but the Republic of Tajikistan. It uh, well is determined by uh, a number of factors, both legal and social economic factors. First of all, construction relations are characterized, uh, characterized uh, by a number of uh, uh, participants to this uh, construction, uh, whose d claims uh, should be proportionally met. Uh, satisfied, uh, and then uh, the problems of uh, regulation uh, are there, and the modernization of uh, law enforcement uh, of uh, of, um, of uh, current laws, uh, and third uh, is the is uh, if uh, the. Uh, developer is a bankrupt and uh, they don't have enough property, enough estate to pay all the uh, claims. Um, this is number three. So this all makes uh, this dissertation very relevant. The author uh, sets out um, goals and objectives. The structure of the work is very logical. The scientific novelty of the work uh, is is implied by the is uh, enforced by the um, statements that that uh, the author is just is advocating well this work uh, is a very creative work uh, but also it deals with very practical issues um, and the author provides good arguments and um, he 
proves the point that uh, the that the Russian legislation in this regard should be modified uh, in terms of uh, developers' bankruptcy. Uh, uh, positively characterizing the dissertation, uh, you, we, I want to say that um, it has some drawbacks. First of all, uh, 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 one controversial point is that the, uh, the defendant says that the, the claim of the participant uh, for the monetary funds um, that had been paid uh, for the for a dwelling uh, should be met by by the um, transfer of this dwelling uh, to the to come to the uh, investor uh, uh, as a compensation. First of all, uh, I would like to say that uh, at any point. Uh, uh, the investor can re can claim the money that he spent that uh, is being paid uh, uh, to the developer can be reclaimed and recovered. This uh, and and uh, this this money is part of the um, the agreement. So this um, issue should be clarified. And if uh, the bankrupt um, uh, is deemed, um, if the developer is bankrupt, can be regarded as the failure to meet uh, the obligation. The dis the dis this station author uh, doesn't provide um, doesn't provide the arguments. Um, that uh, uh, the guilt should be approved. Uh, it, so the subjectivity of the liability is removed. We have, uh, we have to draw your attention to, uh, to another subjective factor, is the risk of the developer, as which can be the basis of the liability. So in this case, uh, we should take risk rather than guilt of the, def of the uh, developer as the basis for the claims. So the, and the, dis def the dissertation author doesn't focus on the risk which he should have. Um, according uh, fourth, according to um, paragraph seven of uh, chapter eight, uh, chapter nine of the bankruptcy law, the author says um, that um, uh, the norm uh, has a, 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 a character that favors creditors. Because uh, they uh, uh, they are geared uh, to meet the monetary and uh, estate uh, claims of physical uh, physical uh, parties uh, to the uh, construction, and um, this this um, this the author says that uh, this uh, this. Um, uh, breaks the uh, the balance of the interests of the debtor and the creditor in the uh, case on bankruptcy. Be and therefore, he suggests that uh, the guarantees of the, uh, uh, the citizens um, that invested um, in the property rights um, uh, as the as by default the weakest part of the, uh, the uh, agreement uh, should be strengthened. Uh, but uh, as a whole, the, the dissertation is a well-written work uh, in full, compli full compliance with uh, 
with the uh, requirements of the uh, requirements of St. Peter's State University. It covers many issues, uh, and I vote um, for the granting of the third degree. And I would like now to continue according to our regulation. The chairman has the right to uh, read out uh, his review. And I would like to be short. I share my colleagues' uh, views on the relevance and all other positive uh, comments. And, and, uh, but I will uh, focus on some problematic issues um, that uh, I thought uh, were controversial. And I would like to formulate my questions um, that uh, relate to the uh, dissertation. The first question is this. The author is trying to to uh, correlate uh, the legal n no uh, nature of losses uh, uh, in the bankruptcy law and the civil code. And the author tries to formulate, um, formulate the, the special nature of losses in the bankruptcy law. Um, so this is one of the statements that are uh, that advocated uh, in the uh, dissertation. We know that traditionally that insti institutions uh, are divided into the general and the particular. particular. Uh, my question is, uh, is it not maybe better to uh, correlate as, uh, to view uh, these uh, losses as particular cases? The next uh, question in uh, statement number seven, the author proposes uh, to give the participants to to construction dispute uh, to choose the uh, to choose the way to compensate uh, whether whether to give the right uh, to finish the um, the state um, to a new construction or to to take um, this right. Um, uh, to uh, dispose of this, uh, dispose of this uh, unfinished property uh, by the condominium, and so uh, the condominium uh, can act as a developer in the current legislation, and. Uh, whether I maybe don't understand what the author meant, or maybe the author doesn't know that uh, a similar, or in fact uh, the same uh, uh, provision is in the current legislation already exists. So in terms of other uh, view, uh, views that I can v uh, mention here, the dissertation is very positive and it makes a contribution to all uh, bodies of uh, laws at regional and other specialized levels and I would like to draw the line of the reviews of the dissertation council members and I would like to now go to the next stage and the next stage is um, as the answers of the defendant and comments uh, uh, regarding to the reviews. Uh, you have 15 minutes, please. Dear members of the station council, I would like to thank you for the comments and questions uh, which are different, which are distinct um, and very relevant and very interesting. And uh, they um, touch upon uh, the essence of my dissertation. I would like to start uh, with answering the, um, the question that uh, 
that was in several reviews, uh, which is about the um, recovering the main um, debt <coughs> in terms and recovering the dwelling as a compensation. And uh, and the, um, that's the bankruptcy law uh, has this as the main way of compensate recovering. And um, I would like to cite many authors here, Yegorov, and uh, I'm very Karapetov, uh, I agree with, uh, on the one hand, uh, Chapter 12 in the Civil Code, it doesn't have uh, this uh, way as a, as, a, as a distinct way um, of recovering the main debt. And, um, and I think we, we see here that uh, the original provisions are being recovered here, but Chapter 12 uh, doesn't have a limited uh, uh, list of uh, ways of recovery of debts, uh, or the uh, and it says that uh, uh, different ways of. Uh, uh, recovering the main debt uh, can be found in different other provisions, different other laws. And um, so this uh, ch chapter um, uh, provides for this uh, opportunity. The, in terms of uh, not one, uh, but on the other hand, uh, uh, not one uh, provision of uh, in this chapter uh, directly talks about uh, uh, such a way of recovery, the main debt. And uh, I would like to remind you that uh, the main rule, uh, the the when the agreement um, civil. Uh, Conventional agreement is um, terminated, uh, then uh, no party has the right to recover uh, that part that has not, that has been actually performed, uh, and uh, therefore we have a collision here. So we ha I have to refer you to the uh, um, Supreme. Um, Court of the Russian Federation, the presi presidium, that talked that uh, that made an attempt uh, uh, to regulate this uh, issue, and they suggested that um, uh, illegal enrichment uh, uh, clause can be, or basis can be invoked, uh, invoked um, uh, to recover the the f the financing. Where, whereas um, that uh, paragraph seven of chapter nine on the of the law of bankruptcy doesn't use this um, this clause, uh, and and this uh, corresponds with the provisions that um, that. Are are stipulated in the decision of the plenum of the higher court, uh, the um, uh, Supreme Court, uh, uh, number 35, um, on the uh, consequences of the termination of agreement, uh, uh, which s uh, states that uh, courts should uh, take into account that the con consequences, consequences of a uh, termination of agreement uh, uh, that are different from uh, from. <laughs> that are different from uh, the Civil Code, um, Chapter 453, uh, um, can 
be found in uh, other types of in, uh, in uh, individual uh, types of agreements. So, if uh, uh, the rules of uh, this uh, chapter in the code uh, uh, don't um, uh, contradict uh, special norms, uh, then they can be applied. The, well, I would like to draw your attention that uh, at the present moment um, that uh, the claim, the monetary claim can be only uh, enforced after the termination of the agreement, <clears throat> before the agreement is terminated, only real estate can be uh, claimed by the, um, uh, from the um, insolvent um, developer by, by the uh, investor, individual person. I would like to say that, um, I, next question. I um, analyze uh, uh, the way this way of uh, recovery uh, of uh, unbuilt prop, uh, dwellings uh, to uh, the uh, condominium members uh, the, the meeting of the um, of the investors and who then will decide whether to uh, give this uh, uh, this property to be f finished um, to another developer or not? Uh, and therefore, so the new uh, uh, novelties. Uh, So, uh, stipulate that uh, that this new, this unfinished property uh, can be uh, given to a new developer. Um, stipulates stipulates that uh, the, the condominium members uh, uh, should be notified, uh, let alone uh, ap uh, ask for approval to uh, to do that. So this this uh, discrepancy is uh, is uh, very exceptional, and I think that it violates uh, the the rights of the uh, owners of unfinished dwellings. So th because uh, the um, members of the creditors. Uh, 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 meet, uh, meeting uh, uh, should be given the right uh, to uh, to draw uh, decisions on how to dispose of the uh, of the cr of the insolvent um, developers' uh, property, including the dwellings. As far as the uh, the comments by Professor Malchanov, we have the same uh, problem here. When I wrote my dissertation, uh, I uh, analyzed the draft of these rules. Uh, well, they didn't do any revision really, and now they're in force. I would, and I said in my. Uh, dissertation that um, we should have that uh, we should introduce um, this clause um, that um, uh, that um, uh, they should be in among uh, the members of the uh, of the um, acquirer of um, there should be persons uh, uh, who um, sh they, they shouldn't be liabilities uh, uh, that uh, are carried by a new developer uh, 
and especially uh, among the shareholders of the new developer, uh, persons who have been previously charged with criminal offenses. Um, uh, the, because uh, this has a bearing on the reputation of the new develop and also it presents a risk of the uh, insolvency of a new developer and uh, and therefore uh, this uh, re removes uh, some of the liabilities and the risks so therefore uh, this um, this is a sp uh, new guarantee um, of the uh, of the individuals, uh, individual investors, um, uh, to uh, you know, in terms of re repeating the same case in future. Thank you. So he does not bear any liability on the action of other legal entities that could equally uh, find themselves bankrupt. So this is something that contributes to the regulatory logic. As for the question put forward by Dmitry Anatolievich, as well as other members of the dissertation board, on the unification of the concept of a property developer. Well, I would like to start my reply from uh, Vladimir Pavlovich's uh, statement that the unified legislation means that we have unified terminology. And this was my idea behind this research. So I assumed that the property developer across various uh, rules and regulation can manifest different legal traits. So yesterday there was a question on what is the difference in the bankruptcy case. So this could be an individual entrepreneur or a legal entity that invests money to construct residential houses and is compelled to transfer residential houses upon finishing construction. So each word in this definition is not accidental. So it relates to paragraph 7 and the issue of whether the property developer can be litigated for the liability stipulated in paragraph 7. Can the defendant be represented by a property developer? And each of these parameters has to be delivered on. It is Provision 7 that stipulates for specific guarantees. Everything which is there in my dissertation and my suggestions and recommendations are just a follow-up to the guarantees that should ensure that all the stakeholders can protect their property rights. And yes, indeed, the construction participants although the bankruptcy procedure foresees a balance between the creditor and the debtor. However, the legislator, the law enforcement authority, meant that the property developer and the construction participant may not have necessary qualification and credentials to protect their Right, and therefore these guarantees are there in the bankruptcy legislation. What's more, I also would like to note that, as already said by Vladimir Pavlovich Kamishansky, well, I think that everything is accurate in my wording because the construction participants as a subject of their relations with the property developer. Those are close to re legal relations. 
But anyway, the construction participants are not but one and more than one, so you're free to interpret this concept in a different way. Distinguished members of the dissertation board, as for losses, I have already provided for uh, these recommendations in my speech, but if you would like me to dwell on that, I can do so. This is it for my part. Please take a seat, colleagues. So the next part of our procedure is uh, that we have to give the floor to those present in the room who are not members of the dissertation board. Is anyone wishing to take the floor? You would like to. Okay. Well, this uh, this is the time for um, for this academic supervisor, Professor Papandopoulos, uh, Professor of Economic Law at St. Petersburg University. Uh, please take the floor, dear colleagues. I. I suggest I uh, uploaded my review to the dis and uh, and uh, my review submitted it to the dissertation council. It's positive. Uh, we highlight the uh, the advantages and um, you know uh, and some um, issues. Uh, as uh, the my conclusion. Uh, is that um, the work is in compliance with uh, the standards and uh, um, Mr. Pivsaev is undoubtedly worthy of uh, the sort degree. Thank you very much. So the main part of this session uh, is over before we turn to the uh, open voting procedure. We have to have a closed uh, deliberation and I would like everyone to leave the room and please uh, turn off the broadcast. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, please take your seats. This is a very tense moment, moment and um, the defendant is anxious to know 
We are proceeding to the open voting procedure. And Dmitry Petrov, are you for or against this uh, granting the, f the third degree? I am for granting the third degree to Petrov, um, Igor. I I um, vote for uh, granting the candidate of sciences degree in law to Yevgeny Igorish Pivtsev. Professor Komushansky, I also share my colleague's opinion and with uh, happiness uh, uh, declare that I am for the uh, for granting the third degree uh, in to Pivtsev Yevgeny Igorish. Uh, his work is, uh, is not uh, he has not only written a great work but also brilliantly defended it. Mahmoud Zabirish, uh, I, I also in favor of granting uh, the candidate of sciences degree in law uh, to Pivtsaev Evgeny Igorish. Uh, please, I have no uh, rights to dis disagree. I am also, even if I voted against, uh, it wouldn't change the, the overall verdict. So I vote for. Uh, granting the decision. According to our procedure, I would like to say that out of the n six number members of the discussion councils present, uh, uh, all members of the discussion council members voted in favor. So the decision of the discussion council of of the. Uh, insolvency uh, case um, dissertation um, the decision is uh, taken and uh, Evgeny Igorovich has the right now to uh, for the concluding word thank you very much I would like to sincerely thank a member, all members of the discussion council uh, um, and uh, my, pay my great respects to them. My work um, has been evaluated um, highly by you and uh, hopefully rightly, justly, and, uh, and uh, the defense, uh, the, the successful defense uh, is the crown of my study at St. Petersburg State University. And, uh, but I've learned much more uh, from uh, Professor Papandopoulos and, uh, and uh, when I s participated in the sessions of, uh, in sessions of the department, uh, there was great experience uh, and, uh, to see how, just to be in the midst of great uh, uh, scholars. Thank you very much for brilliant defense and all the best. And I would like to officially close this meeting. Thank you very much, everybody. Mahmoud Zabirish, uh, greetings to Asani Tajikistan. Thank you. Thank you.